Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a new episode of Anime Eats where we get to make anime food in real life. And today we're going to be doing a recipe from Sangatsu no Rayon or March Comes In Like a Lion. If you don't know about March Comes In Like a Lion, it is a slice of life manga and anime that is about shogi, which is like Japanese chess. But like a lot of slice of life, it's not just about shogi, it's more about relationships and just existing. And today I'm going to be making a milk tea flavored Hiyashi Shiratama Shiroppu which translates to a milk tea sweet chilled rice dumpling dish. It is a dessert and it's based on like a traditional Japanese dessert, but it has sort of a modern take on it using milk tea and boba. Boba, by the way, if you're not from somewhere that calls it that, are tapioca balls. So this is from chapter 83 of the manga and 41 in the anime, and it is when Akari and Hina are preparing for the Natsumatsuri or summer festival that they are gonna have a booth in, and they're trying to figure out what they wanna make for it. Their grandfather owns a wagashiya or Japanese confectionery called Mikatsukido, and so this is sort of like in tandem with that. Traditionally, this dish has some ingredients that we're not going to be using today, but shotama is the most important part, and that are like little white mochi balls. Usually for this dish, the types of syrup that they use are like matcha syrup or kuromitsu, which is like brown sugar, or um, azuki, which is like red bean, and they use those syrups to sort of sweeten up the rice dumpling. We're gonna be using a tea-based syrup with milk to make it sort of like a milk tea dish and also including boba. I am like a huge milk tea junkie. I drink it like all day long, and when I heard about this dish in the anime, I was like, I need to make it. So I've never heard of this version of this dish before since it's a bit more modern. There are no recipes I have found on it, so I'm sort of gonna wing it and see how I'm gonna do. Rather than using straight milk tea, which is a bit of a waterier consistency, I want it to be a little thicker, I'm actually gonna be making a tea-flavored syrup. All right, let's try making it. So today you're gonna need water, Tea, black tea bags, shiratamako, sugar, milk, and boba. Okay, first we are gonna make the shiratama. We're gonna put a third of a cup of the shiratama. And then three tablespoons of water. And then a half teaspoon of sugar. Then you're gonna combine Knead it and mix it until you form a ball. Then you're gonna make it into a log. So usually shiratama are a bit bigger, but today we're making tiny ones because they're gonna go in with the boba. They do puff up slightly when you're cooking them, so keep that in mind. And usually you indent the ones that are a little bit bigger, but since these are pretty small, we don't need to indent them. You're gonna put water on the stove and bring it to a boil. And once boiling, you're gonna pop these in. You're gonna pop them in for about two minutes. And when they start to float, you're gonna take them out and dunk it into ice water. And while these are cooling, we're gonna make the milk tea syrup. You're gonna bring one cup of water to a boil. Turn off the heat and you're gonna add in four tea bags. I'm using black tea so I can make black milk tea. You're gonna let them sit in there for five minutes. Then you're gonna remove the tea bags. And then you're gonna turn on the heat and bring this back to a slow boil. Once it gets to a slow boil, you are gonna put in one cup of sugar. Stir it up. Keep stirring until the sugar is completely dissolved. It'll take about two minutes. Then you're gonna remove it from the heat and let it cool off. 
And to try to make it milky, I am going to put a little bit of milk in here and mix it up with the simple syrup. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit more so it could thicken a little bit and then I'm gonna put everything together. So then we're gonna take the boba and the shiratama and we're gonna assemble it. And then I'm gonna spoon on the milk tea syrup. Okay, I'm done. So I am going to try it now. I kind of put a lot in here because I wanted you to be able to see it for the photo. But, oh, 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 oh. Well, good thing I'm wearing an apron. I put in a little bit more of the syrup than I originally intended because the milk sort of melted it out a little bit. But yeah, here we go, itadakimasu. Mm. It's really sweet, I think, because of the boba too. But um, the simple syrup, it doesn't take super milk tea -y, but it does taste like it. And it's really good with the mochi. I just love mochi, I love shiratama. But it actually tastes like a boba milk tea with mochi inside, which is nice. Yeah. Oh no! So all in all, it was really good. Wait, Chad, move. Chad, say hi. The recipe is going to be listed below in the description box, so if you want to make it yourself, go ahead and let me know how it turns out. Make sure to like this video if you thought it was fun or if you like Sangats and the Lion. And also make sure to subscribe if you're interested in more Anime Eats videos or if you want to see anything else, Japan food, travel, and culture related. Also, if you want to see past Anime Eats videos, the playlist is going to be linked below in the description and you can also click up here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mata ne! Yay! We can turn the AC on now! Yeah. <laughs>